It is said life flashes before our eyes. But in between those flashes are moments captured in time. My first camera was a Pentax H1A. Moments, when developed, define our lives, such as in 1972, when a 17-year-old David McNeil walked through the doors of Grub Photo Service. I had bought my first camera from Grub Photo, which had a camera store at that time. It was a single-lens reflex camera, but uh, at that time didn't even have a light meter in it. So you had to do your best guess. <laughs> Legendary photographer, the late Mel Grubb, saw the North Fork native's passion. And I kept bugging him by going back up and asking him, okay, how, does this look all right? What I need to do here and what I need to do there? And I guess I impressed him enough that he called me and, and offered me a job. Ultimately exposing McNeil to tricks of the trade. Just take like underground mine photography. Uh, you have to create the whole lighting effect. Uh, you know, it's black on black on black in, in the coal mines with the coal and the coal dirt and coal dust. The duo would work side by side daily until Grubb retired in 2005. Mr. Grubb was like a second father to me. And he had, he had confidence in me, I believe. We made a good team that we worked together well. And it, at some point it even became second nature that I could almost tell what he was thinking. I know where I needed to put lights and set up cameras and tripods and, and later on he was doing the same for me. After a half century in photography, McNeil says it is time to move to the next frame. Retirement and I, I, I just want to take it easy for a while as well as I've got a lot of projects around our home. When you have a business like that, this, you're kind of married to it to a certain degree. Here for you in Bluefield, West Virginia, Joshua Bolden, WBVA News.